I'm now going to stencil my design onto this middle bit of the napkin. I've got a really nice dark green here. Just trying to pick up the leaves on this stencil. Okay, that should be enough. Now this is dry and I've cut it into four bits. Using an artist's brush and some water, I'm going to paint around a section of leaves because I want to pull this part out. And now for the fun part. I'm using gloss gel medium, any glue that you've got, and then taking one of my pieces that I've cut out, I'm going to put it onto my pumpkin like that and smooth it down. And because it's got a white background, it just blends into the pumpkin. So I'm taking the same gel medium that I used before and then I'm going to take some gold leaf and using a very soft brush, pat it down. And here are my finished pumpkins. I think it's really nice to have glam ones for a change. What do you think? I did a candle to match and a tiny one too. I'm using a polystyrene ball that I have cut in half. Then I sanded the top I had this picture of my children when they were little on Christmas morning. I took a photocopy of it on card and then over the top I've used some clear contact paper. But the first thing I'm going to do is to decorate the back. I have got a Christmas napkin and I'm going to take just the top layer. As always, when we use napkins to decoupage, we just use the top layer and I've got some tiny bits here that I'm gonna show you. I've got some regular white school glue and simply put some glue on the polystyrene ball and then lay the napkin on top. Just go all the way around until it's all covered. So this has been completely covered now and I've also gone over it with one coat of glue as well just to seal it in. And putting some glue on the polystyrene and I'm also going to put some on the back of this card as well. And then press it in place. So I leave that to dry and I have also stuck around the edge these little sticky half pearls in gold. And then taking some ribbon, this is cord, push the cord in with the end of the scissors, put some glue on it to glue it in place. You just remove the top and I'm taking some white acrylic craft paint and I'm going to start pouring it inside all the way around. Whiz it around like that so that the paint moves around inside until the whole thing is coated. The first design I'm going to do, I'm going to make it look like we've hand painted this bauble. I'm going to use permanent markers. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start in the middle and draw a line to the tip. These are plastic and they actually come in two parts. So first of all, I'm just going to squirt some paint in both sides. And then using the shaking method, going to combine the paints. Okay, so that is now completely covered in paint. And here are the baubles, all hung now on the tree. I'm really happy with how these turned out. They're all very personal and made for a fraction of the cost. I found this really cute pumpkin at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna start by using Mondego in black. We're gonna go ahead and just base coat. So we're gonna let this thoroughly dry. So our paint is completely dry and we're ready for our next step, which is going to be our Artsyville embellishments foil adhesive. I'll always add just a little bit of water and you'll see that it goes on looking milky white. So it's really easy to see. We're gonna go ahead and put 100% coverage on our pumpkin, just like we did the base coat with the Bondego. Okay, let's let this dry. We're grabbing our wild leopard spot skull. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay a piece of this on here as far as it will go. And I like to use just a soft rag to start with and just rub it on. So you're gonna have to kind of release it and let it sit down in there. Or also try our nail brush as well. To play around and figure out what works best. I'm gonna keep going around. So here is our pumpkin, all completely done and on our table. I'm gonna paint this with Wise Owls Chalk Synthesis Paint and Antique Kavia. So I've painted around the entire box, right? Recycled trolley crate decoupage paper is what we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna take this plastic wrap and I'm just gonna like ball it up and make myself like a little pad. I'm gonna do this in sections. So I'm gonna put this first row down. Now I'm gonna have a few wrinkles, but I'm not gonna stress about those because once the paper dries, those wrinkles will go away. Fold this back and do the next section. Let's get the rest of this decoupaged. 
We painted in a little bit on the insides of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little product along here and um, I'm gonna fold this paper over. Um, so I'm just gonna go along the corner here and I'm able to trim both pieces of paper at the same time. I'm just gonna kind of decoupage it and lay it down and it's barely noticeable. And decoupage these bottom flaps down under my box. We are going to seal this and that's it. First step of this easy peasy process is gonna be to paint our pumpkin white. We'll just take our deco posh paper, get a little hole inserted in it. And now that we've let our pumpkin dry, now we're gonna use our deco posh medium gel. You can use Mod Podge, you can use whatever you so desire. All around the entire pumpkin and the bottom. We'll come over here, take our deco posh and begin wrapping it down. So we're gonna take this off. We'll just start applying our medium liberally on the bottom as well. Now that we've let our decoupage medium glue dry, now we're gonna use some metallic gold here. Your jar of paint. Easy, simple fall tutorial that looks fabulous in any home. I have these unfinished wood ornaments that I found on Amazon. Let's start by doing a base coat of white chalk style paint. Just a quick coat. Now that we have all of our pieces painted, we can start the fun part. These pieces of recycled decoupage paper, you have multiple images. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut her off. So in order for this to work, we're gonna need a piece of plastic and we're gonna put the plastic on top of the wood. So you wanna make sure that your ornament is covered completely. And then I'm going to position my paper exactly the way I want it to sit. Now that I have everything set up and ready to go, I'm gonna take my Teflon sheet. You can use either some parchment paper or you can even use a blank piece of tissue paper. You're gonna be applying heat and pressure in order for this to work and you want to be really deliberate about making sure that you apply, apply even heat over the entire surface. I'm going to lift up my Teflon sheet. I'm going to use a simple emery board to trim this piece. So I'm just going to take it and run it along the edge. And there we are. Isn't that just so pretty? Now that we have our pieces all covered, we're gonna seal them really quickly. You can use any water-based sealer that you have. I have tweezers here on my workbench. I'm just gonna poke a hole in my ornament here. Um, I'm just gonna put it in there and just kind of sand it so that my hole looks nice and neat. And that's it. Look at how cute these are. Now I have a really nice Christmas gift that I can bring if I'm coming to a party as a hostess gift. Thanks for watching Home Talk. We'll see you next time.